We think Philbin is in the area. Tong will tell you more. Looks like UNATCO brought in a lot of armor. Be careful down there, JC. No time to waste. You need to get to the Underworld Tavern and make contact with Harley Philbin. He is one of Belt's aides and he will set up the meeting. Follow his instructions. and a robot near the hotel. Keep your head down. The clinic is closing. If you're having an emergency, please see one of the bots. The doctors have gone home. Plague vaccine is just a rumor. We have no such thing here. You can sleep on a couch until the police open the streets. I said you can stay, now leave me alone. Hey, hey Coleman. How you holding up? I'm fine, just fine. Come on, we're safe in here. How long are we gonna be safe, Ike? They're just shooting people for no reason. Don't you worry, this'll all pass. Sure it will. Smart man. Staying off the streets. Too much trouble out there. 
lot of bad mojo. God damn, but I'm tired of living like this. All those cops acting like they're invading a foreign country. I saw the cops shoot someone right in front of me. It's not like television, it's just a pop and then there's some blood on the ground. I hear they've got a cure. That's what people are saying. Heard it from Smuggler. Even all to themselves. They said the martial law was only temporary, but it doesn't feel very temporary to me. What happened in this damn country? It keeps going from bad to worse. Ike thinks they've got a cure, but there's not enough for everyone. That's why the soldiers are out there, protecting the cure. You stay in here. Mostly no one bothers us in here. At the kitchen, they told me I should repent my sins, but I don't know what I did wrong. At least I don't have the plague. You got the look on you. Man who's running out of friends. You ever been to Paris? I'd like to see Paris. <sighs> Maybe it'll be better in the morning. Big story at the clinic? I interviewed the doctors, poker-faced as politicians. Didn't even blink when you say the word ambrosia. Maybe they think you're talking about the food of the gods. I'm serious. Don't believe the stories coming out of Hong Kong that the government had a cure all along? Could be. They've got proof. They found the cure. It's called ambrosia. Don't believe everything you read. Har har. Check the public terminals. It was a big day in the news. Wish I'd have been the one to get the scoop on Ambrosia. I'll bet somebody already has a book deal on the cover of. put a price on your head. What are you doing in the city? I didn't expect the kitchen to be under martial law. People know the government has a vaccine. Riots everywhere. You still on a dole at UNATCO? I never mentioned. I've been working for the NSF all along, and the Illuminati. I'm on your side. Right, the Illuminati. I need to find one of their leaders, Stan Dowd. A load of plague virus is on its way to New York. Virus? You mean the Great Death? What's Dowd got to do with it? The same corporation that makes Ambrosia also manufactures the virus. Quite convenient. The virus came over in a super freighter previously owned by Dowd. Yeah, most of Majestic 12 is just hand-me-downs from the Illuminati. Huh. We knew about Ambrosia, but the virus? That's news. They're infecting people on purpose, huh? I was hoping Dowd could tell me where the freighter would unload. I'll contact him. 
go to the burn-up storefront of Osgood & Sons, over where the tunnels connect to the warehouse district. You know, where the NSF had the generator. I'll try to get him to meet you there. Osgood & Sons. Yeah, and JC, be careful who you mention the Illuminati to. Like Joe Green. He's a spy for Yanatko. The reporter? Are you sure? Here's the proof. Hey, kill Green and you'll be doing all of us a favor. I saw him hanging around the free clinic. Dow doesn't like to be contacted directly. You'll have to trust me. Green doesn't know who I really work for, so I managed to get him talking. Apparently, they promised Green some kind of position in Washington. Someone will meet you in the alley. You out here because of martial law? I didn't know they were using Marines. Nah, Yanako likes to work alone. I just came out to look up a girl I used to know, Sandra Renton. FEMA gave me a pass for the curfew. She left town. I know, I know. Just my luck. What's FEMA doing handing out travel papers? They took over the advanced submarine base where I work. I don't like being pushed off duty, but I guess little R&R &R never hurt anyone. They brought in their own staff? Most of us were moved out of the main submarine hangar last night. FEMA set up a perimeter. We sure like to know what's going on in there. I would too. Maybe I'll check it out for you. You a cop? Used to be. I'll say it straight. I'm a patriot. I don't like to see one of our top secret bases commandeered, especially when the only people allowed inside are these Asian Mafia types. You think you can do something about it, I can have my buddies at the front gate let you slip by. My name's Vinny. Tell them you know me. Thanks. I'll see what I can find out. Us Americans, last of a dying breed. We've got to stick together. I don't know why we let so many crooks run this country. I saw Walton Simons himself get out of a helicopter on the roof of the hangar. We know a cover-up when we see one. I asked one of the guys, so what's the emergency? Why's FEMA here? He said, you ask one more question, the emergency's gonna be you. That's how they talk to you. What do you want? Prices have tripled to 30 because of martial law. Never mind. talk that you're a spy. A spy? For whom? You aren't a reporter at all. You work for UNATCO. Guess you scooped me this time.
Okay, step forward and reveal yourself. I took out that reporter, Joe Green. I don't like people who ask a lot of questions. No shit. Man, you really did change sides. Never would have thought it possible. Thanks for getting rid of that guy. They're dropping like flies. Owner's left town, far as I know. Heat's off, but I don't mind. I don't mind. A lot of rats, but I guess that's okay. Cops don't care where you are, as long as you're inside. Heard this place was condemned. in the street. Cops shoot at anything. Not too many places left to hide. The bots shoot anything that don't have a uniform. 
Saw one of the bots cut down an old lady in her groceries. Man, that ain't right. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. I'm showing net activity on several of the smuggler's avatars. He must be at home. Why'd you come back? Yanako's got every cop in New York after you. Unfinished business. So you finally wised up and joined the NSF? I don't know if I've joined anything, except maybe the people. Good enough. You know where you stand. It's because people don't know they can pick a side that the government has so much power. I've got to get moving. Have anything you want to sell? Sure. Something you might like. An assault shotgun and some sabot rounds. I also have some lambs. I'll give you the whole box of five for 3500 Never mind. Ghost town. What's the army protect except itself?
Dowd. I agreed to see you because we have a mutual enemy. Why a vacant building? I thought the Illuminati were bankers, politicians, Council on Foreign Relations types. <laughs> we always stayed in the background, even when that was true. You all right? <laughs> Caught this damn plague myself. <laughs> anyway, we never had troops like Majestic 12 or freighters full of bioweapons, if, <laughs> if what you say is accurate. It's accurate. I just don't know where the freighter would dock. They'll want to hide it. The only facility big enough on the East Coast <laughs> is the advanced submarine facility at the Brooklyn Naval Shipyards. Of course. That's why FEMA took it over. <laughs> They're probably storing the virus in the ship's diesel tanks. The only way to make sure... <coughs> it's... <coughs> the only way to make sure it's destroyed will be to scuttle the ship. Scuttle a super freighter? <coughs> it can be done. If you know where to place the charges. <coughs> Smugglers should have explosives that will work. I already have some explosives. I'd pick up some more while I have the chance. But if you think you're equipped, then find your pilot and get going. You sure you're all right? <sighs> I'm hanging in there. If you come across some ambrosia on that ship, however... <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you some medicine. I'll give you a blueprint of the ship. <clears throat> the X's mark the five trihull wells. <clears throat> Crack those up. <clears throat> Reverse the bilge pumps, and the ship will split open like a banana. Tong told me he found an interesting molecular signature <laughs> on the virus. <coughs> a clue to who developed it. I am certain it was a former member of the Illuminati. The custom among our scientists was to sign their work like painters. It was a group of conspirators within the Illuminati that formed Majestic 12 to begin with. The conspirators were far more ruthless than we were. We couldn't compete. Majestic 12 realized that technology alone could be a source of political power. However, the Illuminati laid the foundation. The multinationals, the global structures Majestic 12 depends upon. <coughs> Majestic 12 inherited a system that took millennia to develop. <sighs> It's true that our organization stretches back to the Order of the Assassins, or Hashishim, but not in the way you might imagine. The Order hasn't so much lasted, has been continually revived. Adam Weishaupt started from scratch in Bavaria in 1776, but so did Thomas Jefferson a few years later. It's the idea that has lasted. The system. Or the desire. <laughs> Every thinking person's desire to give the world some decent organization. Cecil Rhodes, for instance. Absolutely no formal connection to the Illuminati at all. <laughs> but one of the greatest <laughs> visionaries of centralized power. Now we have Rhodes Scholarships. <laughs> which feed recruits right into the Council on Foreign Relations. A very powerful tool. In my opinion, the history of the human race has been one long succession of conspiracies. To deceive ourselves, we call the successful conspiracies governments. Uh, we're running out of time. Better track down the smuggler. MJ-12 troops converging on your position, JC. I'll land the copter on the roof of the tunnel. Get out of there.
time for our operation now. You're finished. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. need your help. So? I've uncovered the truth about the Grey Death. It's a man-made virus and there's a load of it on a super freighter at the Brooklyn Naval Shipyard. No tall stories, just tell me what you want. Help me scuttle it. You have any extra lambs or rockets? You think you can scuttle a freighter with a lamb? A few lambs at weld points. I'll help you out. How about a rocket for a GEP gun? Usually save those for the NSF, but I'll sell it at a loss, say 2500 You can also have a half dozen lambs for 2400 better by now. I'm selling cheap only because a lot of people could die. Give me a break. Hundreds of millions of lives are at stake. I like what you're doing, but I gotta cover my costs. Hey, I'm starting to get nervous about this. What you're about to do is gonna turn some heads. I don't want any trouble from the authorities. Actually, Unaco's planning an operation of some kind. You might want to get out of Hell's Kitchen after I leave. What kind of operation? A manhunt. For me, I don't think you want to get caught in the middle. Thanks for the warning. Come on, let's wrap this up. You telling me the truth about this super freighter? They're really gonna expose people to the plague? A marine from the shipyard told me that FEMA's involved. Guess they've gone from fixing emergencies to making them. If you ask me, I bet FEMA wants to cause a national emergency and get control of the army. I think we can expect Walton Simons to make a graph for power one way or another. That's all they would need. One national emergency. Then they could get rid of the president, shut down Congress, and suspend the Constitution. I'll take the GEP ammo for 2500 You want to be about 30 yards back when one of these babies goes off.
I have begun planning your future objectives. Dow will be sending you to Paris. Make sure he gives you the current residence of his associate, Morgan Everett. I do not have access to that information. You must be Denton. Who's asking? Our buddy Vinny said to expect you. Think you can find out what's going on in there? Go for it. Is FEMA really running the show? FEMA and the Chinese? I don't like the smell of it one bit. Me either. This key will open the main gate. The guard just inside the main building entrance will let you pass. But don't expect any hospitality from the FEMA people. I don't know how you'll get on board with the main ramp retracted, unless you want to swim. Be careful in there. Standing orders inside the perimeter are shoot on sight. We're supposed to be on red alert. They even told us to watch the crane, so that no one tries to jump the deck. Good luck. FEMA made a big mistake if they think we follow orders blindly. Just because you have a uniform on, it doesn't mean you don't know how to think for yourself. When we find out what the government's doing, we're going to tell our friend Joe Green at the Midnight Sun. As far as we're concerned, you were never here. I hear they're planning something big for tomorrow. An airlift of some kind. You know that girl Sandra? Eh. Vinny has all the luck. You came in on the chopper? You must be with the DC people. My sister lives down there. She works in the Space Museum. I've never seen so many folks from the Beltway. It's like a convention. Us troops, we're pretty anxious to find out what's going on. I guess we'll hear about it on the news and then we can say we were there. Bob Page was here yesterday. I bet what's going on is financial. I think the United States is asking for another loan. That's my theory. We could sure use another check from the Chinese. It was nice chatting. Like the directive said, we've got this place sealed tight. You can count on us.
Haven't seen you in a week. Where are you <laughs> Ah, workers' camp. Messed up my hand while I was working on the sewer shutoff grate. Damn thing came down and nearly took off my whole arm. You gonna be all right? Yes, okay. They told me they were gonna fix it. Of course, they waited until after I got hurt to do it. I, uh, saw a bunch of folks working on that shed out back a few days ago. Figured they must be tinkering with the control valve, sure enough. What's up with this place anyway? On the way in, some goon with a gun frisked me from head to toe. Told me to watch my step. FEMA, sure. After they declared martial law, they came down in this place like they owned it. Shut off the sub pin, threatened to shoot anyone got close. Yeah, I saw him goose-stepping around back there. Christ, this place is going to hell in a handbasket real fast. Wonder what the Union's got to say. Right now, the Union ain't got nothing to say. What was that? You supposed to be taking over around here? Hey, I know my job. You want something else out of me? Talk to the Union. Don't mind me saying so. You can't be worse than the other guy. Simons. That's his name. Place has turned into a military camp. You're gone one week. This is what happens. I, uh, I don't want to be getting anyone into trouble, but there's something about the man that just ain't trustworthy. Look. You do what you have to do, I'll do what I have to do. I'm just saying I don't trust a bunch of guys with riot gear and guns. Like what? Don't know exactly. I had this way of talking, like he'd just as soon wring your neck if he didn't need you for the job. I ain't done nothing wrong, so just leave me alone, okay? Strange tattoos kind of swim around under his skin. I ain't seen nothing like it. If you're going to bust my ass, I'm going to quit right now. Got work to do, sure enough. Check in with the front office, you need to know anything else. Look, I'm done jawing, I got five hours left on my shift. You a supervisor? Whole place been turned upside down ever since they opened that sub pen. Yeah, I was there. Mr. Multi-trillionaire Bob Page was all smiling and cutting the ribbon, talking about how it was this big deal for New York. Next thing I know, Page is gone and a bunch of these FEMA troops are running the place. Say it's military security. I don't know about military security. Last thing I saw, Doc, there wasn't a sub. It was some big damn freighter. Chinese, maybe. You know anything about the bonus situation? I mean, we're working some long hours here. Um, if this is about last week, that was just a one-time thing, okay? Won't happen again. Damn, you people got anything better to do but look over our shoulders? I keep my mouth shut, I don't see anything. That what you want to hear?
There was a raid on smugglers. I just saw Gunter get into a copter on the roof and head back to Yonatko. I checked the police bands, though, and they're still looking for smuggler. Looks like he managed to slip away.
circulation fan. If you want to slip in this way, you should look for a maintenance hatch or follow the air vents out of this room. But be prepared for dangerous machinery and maintenance bots. and find a way to get below decks. There is another way to find Everett. He has a mistress named Beth Duclair. Remember that name when you get to Paris.
Thing sucks. Executive Order One Zero Nine or Nine or Zero. It lets us take over all modes of transportation. FEMA can do that. If the president declares an emergency, Executive Order One Zero Nine or Nine or Five, we can take over the media. All of it. Any and all, Executive Order 109097. We can take command of natural resources. So it's all legal. The National Security Act also falls under our umbrella. And the Defense Production Act. If he plays his cards right, Walton Simons can pull off a bloodless coup. All the better. Then we don't have to fight. Exactly. Sergeant, is that you? <laughs> <laughs>
Captain Zhao. The helicopters will be there shortly. They're to be loaded for spraying of the virus. No delays. I want the helicopters operating before sunrise.
RX-84. What's that? One of the plans. You haven't heard of RX-84? Uh-huh. FEMA takes over the highways, police, airports, media, the armed forces. But they still report to the president, right? Not until the end of the emergency. That's for efficiency. Also, they have plans on the books to arrest five million Americans the day the emergency is declared. Terrorists? Immigrants, mostly. But also anyone the FBI's been watching. Think it'll happen? If Simons gets the command, he'll use RX-84. Hard to tell what's going on, though. Hello? Whoever's out there is in serious trouble. Someone's there. I can hear you. You'll have to go around. We're rewiring this part of the ship. I won't get in the way. The transformers are shorting out, and I can't shut them down. A lot of charge in there. The overhead walkway is like the plate of a capacitor. Sounds like a job for bots. You said it. They don't pay me enough to go in there myself. I'm waiting on a couple more spiders. The first two have quit responding. I can take a look for you. I wouldn't advise it. You'd have to shut down two power control panels. One of them under the floor. The guys in the operations room of the helicopter bay have been on my case. Their computers are fried, but it's not worth the risk. No way! Arcs of electricity come off that thing like lightning. I can't be responsible if you get hurt. We have to shut down both control panels to kill the power. The bots will be here any minute. Don't worry, I'll have it fixed by morning. Don't worry, I'll have it fixed by morning. Serious trouble. Do not forget about Everett. 
I have located his mistress, Beth Duclair, but she is dead. The last living associate of the Illuminati leadership is the daughter, Nicolette Duclair. Ask Dowd about Nicolette. We need someone to take us to Everett. from here. Thanks. You want to consider dropping off an application? We can always use another hand. I'm sure glad that's over. Bring our cars. 1024. Report to headquarters. It works. Okay, that's enough.
Whoever's out there is in serious trouble.
Did anybody else hear something? Whoever's out, watch yourself. This one's some kind of mech. You're the guy Vinny was talking about, Sandra's friend. Yeah? We're 100% behind you. We want to know what's happening on the ship. Me too. The code to the ramp is 6655. It's that easy, but watch out for the guys on night patrol. I will, thanks. Good luck. 
lot of foreign nationals up there. I'm not sure why. I'd like to know why Walton Simons was here yesterday. Say hi to Sandra for me. Vinny's a lucky son of a bitch. Hey, that's cool, you know, Vinny? I hope you find out what's going on. I think they're making a stupid treaty with the Chinese. Hey, I called the newspaper myself, but no one called me back. I think the special interests have control of FEMA. Something just wasn't right. What's the emergency? Why is FEMA here? You can sure tell the janitors haven't worked in a couple of days. I don't see why they don't just send all of us home. Don't mind the free paycheck, though. I should have brought a book. What is it? I'm here to meet with Dowd. Just a minute. I'll be right out to let you in. Mr. Dowd awaits you in the family mausoleum. The building that says Dowd on the front, on the western side of the cemetery. He is expecting you.
How'd you get in? The gatekeeper. How else? Strange. No one's supposed to be working this late. Did he say anything? I took him out before he could say much. Better safe than sorry. Starting to think like us, huh? <clears throat> be careful. Paranoia's a drug. You can get addicted. <coughs> I have some good news. I scuttled the freighter and destroyed the stockpile of virus. <coughs> Excellent, my friend. <coughs> we have them on the run. <coughs> I brought you something for that cough. Hope it works. Ambrosia. You found some. Mr. Dowd, tell me something. Someone calling himself Daedalus has been broadcasting to my info link. He wants me to go to Paris to find an associate of yours, Morgan Everett. Yes, yes, Everett. We need his help to develop a cure. Who is this Daedalus? I don't know. He seems to be an ally. But if your friend doesn't want to be found... At this stage, we might be out of options. You see, I was able to decipher the molecular signatures Tracer Tong found. And it turns out... Everett was the one who developed the eutactic component of the virus. He developed a virus for the Illuminati? Not exactly. The work was on augmentations. It was Bob Page who wanted to develop it into a weapon. Tong found Page's signature on the virus as well. Page, the billionaire. How does he relate to Majestic 12? Uh, he was among the original group of Illuminati who broke off to form Majestic 12. Not so good at the science, though. He must be directing operations. So Everett should be able to reverse-engineer Page's modifications and help find a cure. Exactly. Daedalus said I should find Nicolette Duclair first. Yes. Everett is close to the Duclairs. My suggestion, too. Unfortunately, I've lost touch with the Paris crowd. How do I find Nicolette? She's a member of the French terrorist group Silhouette, last I heard. <coughs> Ah, they're rumored to meet in the Paris catacombs. Great. I'll have Jock drop me off at the catacombs. I'll give you what I have on Nicolette. It's not much. <clears throat> Just a few snapshots of the catacombs area. Thanks. I'm sure they will be helpful. JC, I'm coming in fast. LZ is hot, so get to me as soon as you can. I'm going to be a sitting duck out here. Bob Page was Morgan Everett's protege. <laughs> a good student, but very impatient. When one of Page's plates was contaminated, he would smash everything in his cubicle <laughs> with a ball-peen hammer. <laughs> I should have guessed he would go bad. <sighs> Page resisted the degrees of Illuminism as they were implemented never made it past Master of Tyre. He would sleep through the Hatha Yoga exercises in the morning, so it became impossible for him to advance. With Majestic 12, from what I can tell, he's replaced the degrees with a hierarchy of security clearances. Same structure, only secular. He names the various clearances after angels, though. I find that ironic. A bright man understands the origins of loyalty. Advancement through the layers of secrecy provides incentives for recruits to perform well. <clears throat> Don't underestimate the allure of a well-kept secret. Our organization <coughs> lasted from the Crusades to the early 21st century, and our only secret... <coughs> was a technique of meditation, a way of imaging your body dissolving into light. If you want to know about Page, <coughs> ask Everett when you get to Paris. They were like father and son once. You better get moving.
close one. Ready to head out? Dow needs us to contact his associate in Paris. Everett, right? The leader of the Illuminati? He's not an easy man to find. Let's go. Ah, only Paris wasn't under martial law. What a great city it used to be. 